Hey folks, G Hondo here, and welcome back to Captain of Industry. This is episode 33. In the last episode, we struggled massively with a lack of copper, ultimately due to an overflow of slag. This is already completely full. Nice. The slag we are using to, oops, too far, to some degree, by bringing it down here to be crushed. And that one's also completely full. Okay, here's what we're going to do right off the bat. Let us get... And actually, I don't want to use yellow parts because we're low on them. I'll upgrade these later, but I'll simply make a bunch of loose storages strictly for slag. And in fact, what I might do, I might even just have them chained to each other. Well, that might be kind of clever, right? If I do something like that, and that, and that. Right, and then I could simply set all of these to be slag. That would be helpful. And the whole point of that was now I could just transport between them on the U shape. So new stuff coming in comes to here, which simply gets dropped into this one. This one pushes it on, and then this one pushes it on. That is not where I wanted that. There we go. So now the trucks coming in simply fill this one and they just helpfully migrate it to the left, to the left, to the left. Perfect. But either way, that will give us a bunch more right now storage, which will help keep copper flowing. So that might help. I went through the research looking desperately for something that either uses slag, there isn't anything, or produces copper without slag, and the only thing I found was copper scraps, but that doesn't really help. See, it uses copper scraps to make molten iron, but it does not produce slag, but in order to get copper scraps, the only way to do that is here in the shredder, and the only way to do that is from suppressed stuff. Basically, you have to already have scrap, and just yeah, it's, it's pointless. So that does not help. Uh, in looking around, though, I did find something that I do want to research. It was you. Yes, the captain's office, too. Now, I don't immediately care about the bonuses to edicts, but the very last line of that, quick trades, will be better. That I do want. So I'm going to get this. It's going to be brutally expensive to upgrade the office, but I think it's going to be worthwhile. So yes, we're going to go ahead and research that. All right, let's get the clock sped up a bit here and let them start building all this stuff. And I just right-clicked to try to get rid of that menu because I've been playing too much Surviving Mars. <laughs> anyway, that's all good. All right, with these up, that's easy storage for another, what would that be, uh, 540 units of slag, which is very good. It will help keep the copper flowing at least for a little while. Like I say, I'm going to want to upgrade these, but for now, let's just get that going. Uh, corn, did I ever build that? No, I did not, because it also wants yellow parts. Yellow parts are a problem, of course, because all the copper shutting off. Then we ran out of maintenance parts, so those have to get rebuilt first. And let us try to keep this one as empty as possible. In fact, let's do that with pretty aggressive priority. I guess officially it can store a little bit, but the main idea is we want the stuff being pulled out of here post haste. And it should be dragged all the way down here. Yes, they are in fact doing so. Perfect. What I should do to make sure these conveyors are always in use is... Well, I guess I can't set the priorities unless I'm actively removing stuff from it. I was going to say I should put this as a higher priority than this, than this, than this, to make sure they always load to the right. But I guess it doesn't really matter. They, There's so much here, it's going to be a mess regardless. And I may have to find something better than this. Maybe I should just let them landfill it. At some point, if I ever run out of slag, I can then mine it back, I suppose. Now the, there was this stacker thing. How high will this dump it? Or for that matter, 
Can I dump you into the ocean? I know I can't place the actual building in the ocean, but can I... Oh, I think I can. Huh. Do I just start dumping slag in the ocean? <laughs> that seems terrible. We're not going to do that. No, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them start making a new dumping mound. Uh, I don't know where I want to put it. Oh, maybe around here somewhere. I have no idea where to put this. Let's just do that. That's absolute tons, but that will let them offload. Yes, excess slag. So now copper should always, 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 always be able to run. And that is the absolute most important part. Okay. Because we absolutely must have copper flowing at all times. And of course, yeah, now you see there's so much slag to move, you're going to be very busy for a bit. But hopefully once they have cleared that... That should ease. Well, I guess they're actually putting waste in here too. See, I don't really want them doing that. Waste should be coming here. Maybe that. I'll just put that at like party five or something. Because I want waste here, so it's always being burned. Fact. If I rejig this a bit, maybe I'll actually have two burners going at once. Take that air pollution. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I'll put you here. Get rid of this one and replace it with a second one here. There, okay. And we'll just pipe out from here. I guess I'm gonna have to demolish a little bit of the existing pipe, but that's fine. That's easy enough to do. Actually, I guess it's not pipe, is it? It would be um, conveyor, uh, U-shape, I think. Why am I not seeing waste? There it is, waste right there. Yep, U-shaped. Perfect. Okay. So once those are built, which hopefully will not take long, Oh, yeah, because I don't have any construction parts at all right now. Building pillar may collapse. Ew. Okay. Retaining walls it is, that you say. All right. Or I simply stop digging this way. No. Oops. Stop, stop, please. Stop. Just stop. Thank you. Uh, where were the retaining walls? They were right in there. Buildings for vehicles, right. Five units of height. Okay, these are all five units of height. So this may still not even be enough, is it? This may already be too much. I think I have to just stop digging here, or I just have to move this pipe over so it's not going to be bothered. And I think that's going to be the better solution. I'm just going to move this pipe. That's much better, rather than mess about with it. How far over can this go? Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I guess you don't even have to wait for it to actually finish being deconstructed, just... Or well, maybe I kind of do. That doesn't look like it did that correctly, did it? Let's try that again. Okay. Fair enough. Now, let me guess though that that's going to erect the water flow direction. You are the receiver of water. So no, this part here is still okay. I guess I have to wait for this to finish before we'll know for sure. But so far you look like you're still facing the right way. So, so far it hasn't done that silly reversing thing like it so often does. No, nope, you sure did. You are reversed. I don't know why it does that. It must be something, maybe it's something to do with what side I started on, maybe? I really don't know. 
Either way, you are now flowing. You are filling back up. There we go. Okay, so all of you are good. You can no longer reach your destination. Is that a problem on my side or your side? Probably on my side. And that is because why? They can't get under this? Okay. 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 We're all good. We're just going to rebuild this again. Come and take these away, please. Then let all these guys out. There you go. And suddenly, well, you got out. Why are you? Oh, there. Okay, you just take a bit to figure it out. That's fine. Right, water's coming southbound. We need to make sure it stays southbound once this is done. Okay, so you did it right this time. Now that is hideous. I don't like that, but whatever. Either way, you went the right way. So I think it is to do with what direction you build it in. Now, what are you upset about? You cannot reach any of your... You are the secondary here, right? So you should be digging this way. Then why don't we... Come here. Okay, so let's... Clean all that out for a minute. Now, in fact, why don't we just entirely start this section over, right? Let us dig down from here. And hopefully, something approaching line up. Hopefully. That looks much deeper than this part, but fine. Can I dig you to line up to that? Maybe. That does not look like it did that very well though. So let's say no to that. And no to that. Okay, so maybe we say flatten here. And then down from here. I don't This may not work. I don't know. I can't tell. Either way, you're digging again. We're all good. So now that that whole debacle is at least nominally sorted, all those limestones are doing fine. How are you doing here? I'm assuming you're basically completely full. Yes, that's fine. You have no room for gravel or sand. You are completely full because you are not doing anything. You would like to be doing some gravel, but can't because there isn't any. Okay, because I'm doing so all this stuff, I don't think I can really use these conveyors. I think that's making this worse. So we're going to get rid of the conveyors and just let them truck stuff in. Because I think that's what's wrecking all this. As unfortunate as it is, because I went to a lot of trouble to get the stuff all sorted. And... But I think this is just messing everything up. So we are simply going to not do that. Annoying and unfortunate, but so be it. You now should be allowed to produce again once the stuff comes out. Okay, so right this second, you desperately want gravel, and gravel you have too much of. So... Okay, do it by slag then. That's fine. I don't care which one you do. Just get things moving again, please. Thank you. Alright, there's the captain's office, but we have no yellow parts, let alone the... I think it was like a hundred or something that this wanted. Yeah, 128. That's not happening. Also very low on electronics. Again, slash still. Uh, who was it that did electronics? You. You are waiting on copper, of course. Although this is improving, so copper I know is moving. Better be moving after all. <laughs> all the mess we've been going through. Yeah, you are definitely going at full speed. 
No problem there at all. I guess I should have this on. I mean, we don't have any copper scrap, but if we ever do get any, I would much prefer them to burn through that, because that at least doesn't produce any slag. Okay. Are we actually too fast for one caster? You know, we might be. We might need a second caster to help. I don't think it'll run at full speed, though. I think it's just going to run occasional. But even still, I think a second caster is in order. Where can I put second caster, though, is a very good question. If I put it here, it's going to block that ramp. Maybe I put it over here and just do some really nasty pipe works. Molten channel, please. I just have to hope they can still drive through that gap. And if they don't, I'm going to have to move this ramp to the side a bit, but hopefully they can still get through. I don't know if they need one square or two. I guess I'm going to have to wait and see if any trucks actually do manage to get through that or not. There we go. Did I put this in the wrong... I did put that in the wrong square. Good job. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? Ah, it's not easy being blind. <laughs> okay, so you come from here to there. Thank you so much. Now, the question of the day becomes, though, how are they going to get stuff out of here? Right, there's no... I can't put this here. This has to... Unless they can cut through this gap here. I guess we'll find out if iron ever leaves here. Iron's not leaving... Or excuse me, copper's not leaving here. Okay. Right. Sorry about that, guys. Brief pause while we re jigger again. So I need to leave a bit of a gap so trucks can get at it from this side. Not too much of a gap because I don't want to block this side, but at least a couple squares. So something like that. Tree Planter is struggling to find a destination it can reach. Okay. So you... Is that to pick up or to drop off? Which one are you complaining about? Cannot drive under belts and pipes. So that tells me that the problem is you are trying to get to the... Oh no, that's within... Yeah, you can't pass this section and there's now no way for you to get here. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to shrink your zone a little bit so that you're... Or is it this? It could be this, actually. Yeah, might be. Oops. Might be that. What is happening here? Stop, please. Just stop. <laughs> so maybe you really don't like these pipes here. So maybe I just put a ramp over it and then that will quiet you down? I s no, I can't then because of this pipe. Oh, you are finally done. Okay. So corn, and you know what? Just be a double corn. That's fine. Okay. Never mind. We'll just let that sort itself out. That's fine. Okay, so yeah, now these are both going at full speed. And are we still actually backing up any? No. So, I, yeah, we don't produce enough really for two. I think it's more like one and a half. But I would rather it be running at full speed, with some of these occasionally being idle. Having said that, you aren't moving. Why are you not moving? This coal is not getting here. Maybe they can't get over this. Which means it's now a nastier trip for them to get. Ah, oh, good times. <laughs> okay. Right, you have to move. You're going to be here, so they can get in and around this, hopefully through this gap a little bit easier. 
hopefully being the operative word. Oh, it's not an access thing. We have no, we just have no coal. How do we, like I know the mining here got all kerfuffled, that's fine, but why did we not have enough coal be produced at the coal maker? You're running full speed. Are we really burning through coal that quickly? Because we used to have hundreds of coal. Are we seriously running through it that quickly now? Just by putting this back on to full speed. Coal mining is a problem. Are you doing anything? While well, you're getting dirt, there should be lots of coal in this area. Well, maybe not lots, but there should be coal in this area. Do you just have it? Okay, yeah, you are getting it sometimes. Okay. That's fine, but maybe it is actually, as rough as it is to believe, maybe it is actually time for a second coal burner, a uh, wood burner. I never thought I'd see that moment happen, but fair enough. Okay, so you just need an output for exhaust, so that's fine. Yeah, this is all just exhaust, so that's fine. Okay. We can do that. Not a problem whatsoever. Plunk you right about there. Actually, we'll put you there with a bit of a gap. Just so make it easier for the trucks to get in and out. And we'll pipe out your exhaust onto that same line. That's totally fine. There. That will drastically improve coal production. It will also burn through our trees a bit quicker, which in turn means a few less complaints about how many trees we're making. Which you wouldn't think would be a good thing, but apparently in this game it is. <laughs> there we go. You are built, so we just need to wait for stuff to get here. There you go, there's your wood. And off you go. I can't believe I burned through all that coal. Wow. So quickly things train, you know? You fix one problem, you create two more. <laughs> but anyway, now that you are actually receiving coal at a halfway decent clip, presumably, We'll finally see these start to go at a decent clip, hopefully. We have some parts happening now. It's still not spectacular, but at least it's happening. You are just waiting. You are waiting on coal. Yeah, because I have iron at set to a higher priority than copper. They really should be the same, so they're split evenly. I mean, we should run out of either one. It's terrible for different reasons, but it's ultimately it ends up being the same problem, so. All right, so red parts, fantastic. White parts, fantastic. Yellow parts, big problem. Electronics is very slowly ticking back up, but it is brutally slow. You at least are receiving a halfway decent amount of coal now, so you are at least going at full speed. Which clearly, yeah, we definitely did not need two casters for sure. I suppose the option would be at that point to do you know, two furnaces to three casters. Now that I actually have balancers, is there a molten balancer? Well, there is. So, would that be helpful? And if it would be, how on earth would I fit it in here? <laughs> that would be an exciting question. And of course, that would just drastically make the slag problem even yet worse, but... Speaking of slag issue, how is slag happening down here? You are once again sitting idle, waiting on sand. Sand is waiting on gravel. Why are you not doing absolutely anything? You have plenty of rock. You have nowhere to output your gravel or your slag crushed both of which are wanted here. So why is manufactured sand not happening? You aren't getting enough gravel. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna do this the easy way and let you lot do this however you wanna do it in a way that makes sense to you. Because you aren't belted out anyway. Actually, you appear to still be belted out. Oh no, maybe that's just, what, just the output from it? 
No, that's a... Is that part of the machine, or do I have a single belt there? No, I have a single belt there. That might be confusing it, maybe? I'm going to get rid of it, just in case it is. But now that we can just do these however you want, I'm not going to worry about automating it, I'll just let the trucks do it. That should, and it makes no difference which machine does which, I'm not even going to try that efficiency, because that clearly broke it. <laughs> you now should have no trouble getting any bits you want, whenever you want, from either of these machines. Cement is absolutely 100% good. We in fact have enough waiting, like it, that part's fine. So it's purely a case of you getting yourself going with some sand or some gravel, whichever one you prefer. We're both prioritizing gravel. Oh no, you are prioritizing gravel, you're prioritizing sand. That's fine. I'd like you to actually use the slag first if I could, please. But either way, as long as you're doing it, I don't really care. Just do so now. I did set that to corn, right? Yes. Oh, you have a little bit. That's okay. I wonder if nine is 99 the maximum this shows? I thought we were at 99 before. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Either way. So, yeah. So by the time you're done, the next one is there. So you are running at basically full speed. And by the time you're done... Well, where is the next one coming already? So maybe this can support two fully. Or maybe it's like 1.8 or 1.9 or something. Maybe it's close enough. Like, we're definitely not backing up, though. So we're definitely not overproducing molten. But we clearly... Yeah, no, that's okay. That's alright. Alright, we'll just leave that. Either way, copper production is now at least stable. And I'm sure it's stable. Which in turn means all the parts will slowly start to come back up to where they belong. By deliberately not researching, we're no longer using the lab parts, which reduces the amount of electronics we need. So they can just immediately go into the yellow parts. Well, not at that factory, I guess. Here. Well, I guess vehicle parts is also using them. Somewhere we are building vehicle parts. I just don't remember where. Oh, it's down here, right? Yeah. Okay, but we have enough of those that we're not really using them. Okay, that's fine then. So yeah, so you're just hard doing electronics because we are not using a lab, any more lab equipment for the moment. So you are helping keep the electronics in check. And then the electronics get burned here to turn into the yellow parts. Okay. Oh, maintenance uses them too though. Oh, that's probably why it's taking so long to build them back up. Right. Well, we basically we have caught up the maintenance though, so as long as we don't build too many more things, this should be okay. Like they are definitely going up, just incredibly slowly. Is there any there's no point really in adding another machine to do them, because we aren't making enough copper. Like I don't see copper rising yet. I suppose what I could do is I could just go and buy a bunch of copper just to get things going quicker. And maybe I will. The price has come back down. So yeah, let's just have a bit more copper on hand just to speed things up. Not because it, yeah, I need it, but just so I don't have to wait as much. This happens a lot. I'm going to build a few more trucks. It is, of course, going to use up some vehicle parts, which we just talked about, so <laughs> maybe I will buy some more copper to compensate. Even though the price is bad. There we go. Okay. Alright, I think that will work. So that little influx of copper, which will, of course will melt away basically instantly, but that will give us a lot of parts starting to build up. And once we have enough that I can upgrade this, then we should start, it said we'll get better deals. I'm hoping that means we just get more stuff or, or, or and not just, you know, it just doubles both sides, in which case I'll, it just a convenience thing and that's it, but we'll have to wait and see. Either way though, I am running low on time, so I am going to call the episode there, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please leave a like and a comment, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe, it really does help. Other than that, we'll catch you in the next episode. Have a good one, see you.